Hello, my name is Tiptoe, and welcome to part two of my hardcore mode let's play. So, uh, we pretty much break right, right back off where we started. Uh, first day, it's go or first day slash night, whatever. Full cycle is going, is gone by. Um, there's still some enemies out here, so I need to be careful. I'm gonna try and get one more string from this spider over here. Although, my sword's looking pretty, pretty bad. Yep, and it's out. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Whew. Oh, there was another one. Alright, so. Um, you'll notice that I'm, uh, Steve right now. Minecraft guy. Uh, me and my friend Zyrodim call him Pugface. But, uh, my internet went out. Um, luckily my ISP is supposed to be coming here today. So, uh, let's hope that all goes good. But since I can't connect, I don't have my skin. So... Alright, so we got plenty of charcoal here. I will actually turn that into some more wood. We need some torches. So, let's let's get about that many torches. 20 torches, that's a decent amount. And let's cook you. Alright, I don't need this sand with me all the time. Let's see if we can't find one more sheep, but first things first, turn that into wood more wood and let's make one more wooden sword this will probably this should be the last wooden sword it's actually the first time I've ever made three wooden swords in a file so there's some more sheep let's go let's go kill us some sheep actually you first you tried to sneak up on me I think just because you're white you blend in well you don't anyway so now that I got that Let's go store this up for right now. Don't need the zombie meat either. And there we go. Five meat. That's good. Alright, so what I'm going to need to do now is find a cave, which there was the ravine over here with a small cave into it. That's probably a good spot to start off. Just gotta make sure I don't ever fall into the ravine. Because I will die, and then I'll have to start over. Which would not be fun for anyone. Not me, not you, not even that guy who's not even watching. Alright, so. Let's grab all this stone right here. And I hear a skeleton. They must be below me. That's good. That means I don't have to worry about them. At least right now. So, what I'm going to be doing with this cobblestone is be making more tools, or more upgraded tools. I'm going to be making a stone sword, as well as a stone pickaxe. So, eventually I'll, I'll, I'll come to the point where I don't really have to mine much of this stone anymore. But uh, for now, this is pretty pretty good. Um, I want to get that iron. Whoa, that sounded like right there. So, like I was just saying, I want to get this iron. Okay, so. I believe it will be okay to... Oh, wait, I can't get that iron with the wooden sword or pickaxe. So, I need to make a stone pickaxe. So, it's pretty much the same setup, just with stone. I don't need the axe right now, but we'll do this. Alright. Talk about, like, a mon monster horde over there. Alright. I should be able to grab this iron with no problem. Oh, yeah, there's more underneath it. Check that out. don't want to get too far in here yet. Okay. I think I can just... Alright, cool. So I can get to it without having to, you know, risk anything. Alright, three iron. That's actually very good. Um, let's try and get this coal down here. We're always going to need more of it. Okay, so I, I lit up the area. That is deep. There's a skeleton. Okay, we don't want to do that. 
I don't want to get knocked back into the the hole, so just gonna have to be careful. This sounds dangerous, like really dangerous. This may not be a good cave to start off in. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting closer to this. It uh, it sounds like they're all around me. It's ridiculous. I'm getting out of here. Oh Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, skeleton. Wow, you were surprisingly easy. Okay. So, I am officially getting the heck out of here, because that's scary. Okay. Uh, come here, I need your leather and food. Okay, so this is the ravine, which is probably where a lot of monsters there are. Some zombies, stuff like that. But it uh, be kind of suicidal to go down there right now, so just going to ignore it. Well, hello. Another entrance to the cave, perhaps. And more skeletons. Without a stone sword or something, I ain't going in there. Okay, so... We seem to be doing pretty good so far. Three iron. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It gives me enough to make an iron sword instead of a stone sword, which will last me a much, much longer. Not to mention, kill things much, much faster. So, in order to get... You can't use the iron as it is now. So, what I have to do is I have to use this charcoal, or the furnace, to smelt the iron into iron bars. I think they're called iron ignits, but bars sounds more appealing. It's easier to say. Aha. Music that indicates that there's something nearby. Good. Um, I think I'm just going to turn all of the coal I found. Or no, let's go ahead and just use the charcoal into more torches. And let's go ahead and make some more sticks. I'm going to have to get some more wood here soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this wooden sword up. I will, you know what? I'm going to offer it to the lava pit. That's what I'll do. So I have three iron. And same setup with the uh, wooden sword. Just like that. Don't need you. You. I don't need you. Don't need you. Okay, we're good to go. Alright. Oh, okay. So, across the field again, back to the cave, and my game is skipping, I'm not too sure why. So let's offer this to the lava pit. Oh, lava pit that causes forest fires, and that I will actually die if I run into. So please take this humble offering and kill it instead of me. Okay, now that that's done with, I have a... Well, I almost called it a silver sword, but it's, it's an iron, not silver. Now, there's two skeletons should still be down here. I hear them, in fact. Or, I, I heard the pig, I guess. But those skeletons should still be here somewhere. I just gotta wa watch out for them. Dude, this is dangerous in hardcore mode. For I, I've had a hardcore mode file before. For those of you who uh, go onto the OG Planet forums, you may have remembered my little topic about, you know, pretty much crying that I finally died. But uh, I've uh, gone pretty far in one of these worlds before. So hopefully I will go far in this one. I definitely want to get this uh, coal. I will be using tons and tons of coal, so I'm going to have to grab as much of it as I can. And of course, more iron means better tools, means being stronger, which will help me survive. Okay, pig. 
All right, critical hit kills him in one shot. That's actually pretty cool. Now, I didn't get anything but experience from him. That's not as cool. Okay, so six iron. That's pretty good. That will get me an iron pickaxe, which I will need when I find diamond, which diamond is like top tier in terms of material. So, going to need a iron pickaxe in order to, to uh, mine it out. And iron's pretty plentiful. To, for, to me, it's always been plentiful, but I've heard a lot of people say that uh, before the adventure update, which was Minecraft 1.9, or wow, 1.8, that they no they couldn't find iron to like save their life. Yeah, I found iron all the time. Okay, so first step usually with any of these caves is uh, light them up first. Don't d don't get so excited that you forget you can die. So uh, usually light up a good amount here. Um, gravel is another one of those uh, blocks that supposed to fall into or they fall whenever uh, uh, you break them. As you can see it's a glitch but if I break this it should fall which it did. So it just corrects itself. And my dog wants out of my room. You know, you keep interrupting my let's plays when I'm playing Minecraft. That's gonna have to stop. Okay. So, the dog likes my room. I don't know why. All it does is sleep. It's lazy. It's getting fat, actually. And its name is Snoopy. Kind of generic, but uh, we went with it. It's worked pretty good. So, let's get some more coal. hopefully venture even deeper into this mine. You know, I really should just use the rest of this wooden pick. I mean, there's no reason to waste it. So this is probably pretty boring for you guys, but uh, it will get more exciting as time goes on. So, let's see here. Put this there. Put a torch to signify that I can go up this way. And let's go farther down into this mine. I hear a spider and he's really close. Ah. And it looks like it's becoming night. So what I'm actually going to do... Oh my god, my dog wants back in my room. Just so I don't have to listen to it scratch on my door. Get back in here, Snoopy. Go lay down. Why did you even want out? You just came right back in whatever okay so I need to get back out of here and I'm already lost how is this possible I'll follow my torches this way then um. oh wait here we go okay so it is already nighttime now you see if that had been a creeper I would have been dead Okay, so, whew, this is, uh, this should be a lot easier, though, um, since I do have, where's that coming from? Okay, since I do have a iron sword, monsters aren't that big of a threat. They still are, because, you know, obviously, if I die, it's getting over, but, as you can see, it took a lot less to actually kill it. So, I need a few more, I need some more food, so you come here. Plus, I need leather for armor, so I don't need any more from you, sheep. Alright, let's put up the goods. Or actually, let's go ahead and smelt this here. Put some fuel in there. Don't need you, or you, or you, or you. So, I'm going to go ahead and make, I'm going to go ahead and make a full stack of torches. Uh, you can only uh, stack things up to 16 or er, to 64. Some things uh, will only stack up to 16, but most things is 64. And certain things like weapons or tools, 
you can't stack. I actually have an extra torch here that I'm going to place down here. Okay. So let's see if we can't find some spiders. I need some more string. Aha! Hello there. Hello, Charlotte. We meet again. Alright, so I got that string that I wanted. There's a creeper. Let's go ahead and get rid of the threat. Alright. You always want to try and ram them. Oh, dear Jesus. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, God. Don't blow up. Get away from me. Oh, I thought I heard another one behind me. Whew. Okay. That was scary. It was like staring death in the face. Okay, so... Let me grab the other string that I had, and... Let's make ourselves a bow. Nice. Alright. Since I have a bow now, I can actually shoot arrows. Which I don't have much of, but uh, I'll get there when, or we'll cross that road when we come to it. Getting materials for arrows is actually pretty difficult now. It used to be pretty easy. Zombies used to drop feathers, but they don't anymore. So feathers is actually quite difficult to get. Oh god. Whew. Glad I blocked that. I blocked this next one. He didn't even hit me. Alright, cool. Oh, shoot. You guys suck at aiming. Oh. Never mind. Sorry to question your skills. Okay, so let's actually get some bow practice in. Um, what should we shoot first? Ah, let's kill a skeleton with its own medicine. So, with the bow, you have to hold the mouse button down, the right one. Aim and fire. When it's fully charged back, it deals the most damage. If you just kind of, like, click it, this is all it does. Uh, so long as I don't hit anything, I can pick up the uh, the arrows. It takes about three to kill a mob. That was close. So, and since skeletons drop arrows, that's usually the best way to come across more arrows. Alright, let's kill you. And now we're level five. So that's that's pretty good. Let's light up the area around here. This will make it easier for one, for me to see. Two, I, monsters won't spawn as much. Okay. So there's a skeleton, two skeletons, and a spider, and there's a creeper. Ooh, I'm not ready for that. I saw an Enderman, which I will show you, so long as I don't die. Oh, okay. Oh my god, please tell me he didn't see me. Okay, Ooh. okay. Um, Endermen are the newest mob, and they're peaceful so long as I don't look at them or attack them. So, like, I can look at them, like, right here. There's one. I'm going to circle it right there. Okay. If you hear walking, you have to be careful. But, uh, anyway. So, if I were to look at them, they would kind of, like, freak out and start teleporting at me. But the reason I don't want to fight them is they deal five hearts of damage. Meaning two hits, I'm t history. I'm toast. So, uh, yeah, you don't want to fight them until you're ready. And I'm not ready. Okay. Take that spider. Hmm. There's some good water over here. I'm going to actually need to grab some water later on. Start farming. And I don't mean like uh, farming monsters. I mean farming. Like actual, you're going to make a hoe, dig land, and grow crops. But I want to do as much monster slaying as possible right now. So, take on you, goodbye creeper, hit you again, and let's crit you. Oh god. Whew. Okay. Um. Alright, there's another creeper here. Gotcha. Alright, one hit with my sword should do it. Ah, take that creeper. Okay, um. There's another creeper, and there's another Enderman. Ah, get out of here! Whew. You can hear the sizzle on that. I always can use more string, so... 
tell you what, monster slaying is easy in this game, but when you go into hard mode, you gotta be careful. One wrong, excuse me, one wrong move, you're done for. Although zombies are still not a threat, I could kill them. I could kill like five of them, which is my fifth, and I wouldn't probably take little to no damage. Okay. Um. So yeah, we've survived another night. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun. I'm not even that big of a Beatles fan, and I know that song. Um. So that's pretty much it. Uh, sh my iron should be mel melted by now. So okay, so we got some iron. Take the coal back. Let's put up our stuff and where's the iron oh right okay I need to make a bucket actually I'm going to make two buck yeah two buckets okay good buckets are one of the items that don't stack it's basically considered a tool um I suppose I didn't explain this last time when it turns day most monsters burn in sunlight spiders and creepers don't Spiders become neutral, so they won't attack you unless you attack them first. But creepers, man, they still go after you. Okay, so I need so I need some water. So I'm just going to go over here, right-click some water, and it's still moving. I actually hate when it does that because it bugs me for some reason. That is why it bugs me. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. Creepers are still here. Oh, Jesus. Alright. I am invincible for now. Alright. So, I'm actually going to want to start farming here. So, let's... Let's make a way for some farming. Mowing the lawn. Alright. Um, this will be... This will be good enough for now. Let's just make a small small garden for now okay so what I'm going to do place water here and place water here if I break this block here the water forms into a third block and I can keep taking it from this source so with that in mind all I have to do is place another block here and another water block here And we have water. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eh, seven's pretty good for now. Let's just go ahead and make it ten. Now. So eight, nine, and ten. So I'm going to need more water. If I were to take it from the edge, I wouldn't get this like unlimited source of water here. So actually what I need to do is fill you back up alright so water there and water here I know I'm only going up to 10 but this way I don't end up with flowing water and hear that annoying noise okay so um, I wanna fill up this right here with dirt switch to dirt why aren't you switching Okay, so there we go. Um, now, I, uh, all I need now is to. Well, I should probably refill these water buckets while I'm at it. Okay, um, apparently I'm having some recording issues here. Mm, they come and go. Okay, so I'm gonna actually store one of these buckets up, and now I need these. I need seeds. And I have plenty of them. Now I need is a hoe, which I'll just make a stone one, because even though I will be using this a lot, I have no real reason to make it out of any material that isn't readily available. So, let's go ahead and break some more of these to get seeds from this. So, I'm going to want 20 seeds. So, I need four more. 
Actually, I'll just go ahead and plant. So, what I'm going to do here is just right click all the ones next to this. Take my seeds and plant. And it'll take some time for these to grow. But it's all worth it in the end. So, Alright, so I ran out of seeds. Not that big of a problem. And I will show you why. With, when you get bones, you can actually make what's called bone meal. Bone meal is uh, uh, pretty much an instant growth for most plants. So uh, all I have to do is come right here on one of these, right click, and it instantly grows. So I'm going to do that on all six of these here. Then I can break it, and I get wheat and more seeds. So... The object of uh, farming is to obviously get wheat and to keep making it. And there we go. I have a little one seed left over, but that's fine. I'm actually going to be getting a lot of leftover seeds. So what I'm actually going to do is make a chest, two chests in fact, that I can store this stuff in. Alrighty. And where's my torches? There they are. Alright. So, this is my seed storage chest or farm chest. I'm actually going to keep the bones in here since I mainly use that. I mainly use bones for bone meal. There's one other use for them, but uh, I'll come across that bridge when we come to it. So, I need more food. Alright, so this has been a productive day so far. I didn't want to put you there. Alright, I wanted to actually put this here. And what I'm going to be doing here is uh, making a storage setup so that I can just come over here and shift click into the chest and it puts it in there. So this way I can try and stay as organized as possible. Well, um. I believe I'm pretty much coming up to a point where I need to stop for a bit, so uh, this has been Tiptoe, and this has been part two of my hardcore Let's Play of Minecraft. Please leave a comment uh, below or a like. Let me know what you think of the video, if I need to improve on anything. Uh, if you do dislike, hit the dislike button. Just make sure you tell me why you dislike my video. Alright, see you guys next time.